Hello, I'm Deepika Garg and I'm a postdoc at Aston University, Birmingham. I'm going to present my research on fully autonomous vision-based traffic signal control from simulation to reality. This work has been conducted jointly with Maria and George. Let's begin with some motivation. Existing signal control methods fail to cater to the dynamically changing traffic flows. To solve this problem, we used deep reinforcement learning to create an autonomous signal control agent that perceives the prevailing traffic conditions using live pixels from the intersections and adapts to the actual traffic conditions in real time. Due to safety and economic reasons, the signals cannot be controlled using deep reinforcement learning in the real world, as these agents need millions of interactions with their environment to learn a suitable policy. Therefore, our strategy is to learn on the simulator and transfer the trained agent policy to the real intersections. For realistic experimentation and validation, we created a novel traffic simulation environment and named it Traffic 3D. Traffic 3D allows the creation of visually and physically intelligent traffic scenes. We open sourced Traffic 3D to support the research community in developing novel technology. This is a short video demonstrating scenes created using Traffic 3D in different conditions. Since our agent visually perceives the traffic environment, therefore it was important to test its resilience to different weather conditions such as rain and snow and lighting conditions such as a dimly lit night. Traffic 3D allows easy creation of traffic scenes with a few clicks on OpenStreetMap. It is compatible with other popular simulators such as Sumo. The state of the art in signal control includes fixed time signals which do not adapt to the prevailing traffic conditions at all. They are predefined based on historical traffic data. The second method involves loop-induced signals, which consider the prevailing traffic conditions to optimize its operation. However, the optimization is based on partial traffic information, as the induction loops typically only count the number of vehicles around the intersection. Alternatively, we use cameras to obtain a wider coverage of traffic and enhance the quality of traffic detection. The third method is one of the first works on vision-based deep reinforcement learning for signal control. However, a simple two-dimensional visual representation of the traffic environment is used in this research work. The visual complexities of urban traffic are ignored, while our traffic simulation environment is much more richer in terms of visual representation of entities. We used deep reinforcement learning to enable our agent to effectively regulate the traffic flows in real time. We used visual perception as images gives a much richer view of situations and the key features are automatically learned while the hand engineered features tend to be brittle, non-scalable and require a considerable amount of domain expertise. For instance, traditionally used loop sensors are commonly placed close to the junction and render only partial information about the prevailing traffic conditions, resulting in the emergence of a suboptimal signal control policy. We further used domain randomization and transfer learning to increase our agent's generalization capabilities. Traffic being a stochastic environment, we used policy-based reinforcement learning to train our agent. The agent learns an end-to-end -end mapping from raw pixels describing the current state of the traffic to the signal control decisions. The MDP settings include state, that is the raw pixels, describing the current traffic state, a set of discrete actions such that each action corresponds to a signal phase, and we use a combination of positive and negative rewards. To prioritize the movement of emergency and public vehicles, we use a higher positive and a higher negative reward. A policy is used to define the agent's behavior. In policy-based reinforcement learning, the policy is directly estimated. It is a mapping from state to action to maximize the agent reward. To capture and process intricate features of the traffic environment, our policy is represented by a deep neural network. Our agent's goal is to find an optimal policy that maximizes the traffic throughput and minimizes the delay for individual vehicles. This is our agent's network architecture describing end-to-end -end training from RGB images to signal control actions. We use a deep neural network with three convolutional and one fully connected layer. For faster computation, we use the image resolution of 100 by 100 pixels. We believe that the smaller resolution helped the agent to generalize better to new settings as images containing fewer details prevent overfitting. 
Here is the comparison of our signal control agent against the benchmarks including fixed time signal control, adaptive signal control and prior deep reinforcement learning based signal control research. In fixed signal control, the sequence of signal phase activation is predefined. In loop induced signal control, loops are placed underneath the road close to the intersection. Whenever a vehicle passes over the loop, its presence is registered and based on the prevailing traffic density, the signal phases are configured. Our third baseline is deep policy based approach. This is one of the first works involving signal control using pixels. We reproduced their research methodology. Their reward function is different than ours. Their reward function is based on delay, while our reward function is based on traffic throughput. The x axis represents the number of vehicles observed during the training and the y-axis represents the junction travel time, that is the time interval between vehicles arriving at the junction stop line and vehicles reaching at the end of the junction. The longer a vehicle is forced to wait at the start of the junction, the higher its junction travel time will be. As seen in the red plot, our method minimizes the junction travel time for vehicles. It significantly outperformed both conventional and RL-based signal control methods by intelligently adjusting signals to different traffic situations. We attribute this performance to the use of photorealistic visual data to optimize signals, as it has several benefits including detection of vehicle type, their precise position, and estimation of speed of vehicles based on their positions in consecutive frames. We followed a principled framework to train our signal control agent through a curriculum of progressively harder tasks using domain randomization and transfer learning. For example, starting from controlling signals on a clear sky day and then altering various aspects of the traffic environment like different weather and lighting conditions. The goal of this step is to equip the agent with the knowledge that it needs to effectively operate in the real world traffic environment. We compared our knowledge transfer approach with a baseline involving no transfer learning, that is training from random neural network initializations. As seen in these graphs, transferring knowledge across different scenes is rewarding in most cases. For example, in the rainy and dimly lit night scenes, no new learning is needed by the agent to effectively operate. We also did a qualitative causal analysis to reason about the decision-making capabilities of our agent. We performed the attention visualization of our simulation trained signal control policy on complex real world intersections in London using the CCTV images open sourced by Transport for London. Attention visualization is based on gradient based localization method. The gradients flowing in the final convolutional layer of a pre trained network are used to isolate the pixels that dominate a certain signal control decision. Based on our reward function, our policy highlighted the right objects such as public and emergency vehicles to give them priority access of the intersection. In the absence of public transport and emergency vehicles, attention can be seen on the lane with higher traffic density. Successful attention visualization can also be seen on the scenes affected by heavy rain and nighttime lighting. These images testify the real world deployment readiness of our signal control agent after it is trained only in simulation. Currently, we are having discussions with the local transportation authorities in the UK to perform a trial of our signal control method on the real intersections using existing camera infrastructure. Here are a few concluding points. We developed an end-to-end -end trainable signal control agent. We believe that enabling the signals to see and intelligently act can unfold the true autonomy in transportation infrastructure. In the future, we intend to extend our signal control method to a network of simultaneously operating intersections. Thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to answering questions about our work in the question answer session.